hello guys hello and welcome back to another video so in this video we are going to discuss on multi-dimensional integration in matlab so first i will discuss the monte carlo method of integration so in monte carlo method of integration you can do a numerical integration in d dimensions so then we will see some examples so we will also be using matlab's inbuilt functions to do 2d and 3d numerical integration the general integral formula in d dimension is given by this where dvd is the volume element in a d-dimensional hypercube uh, this is the general formula for monte carlo integral uh, the, you can easily derive this formula using statistical means now one important point in this morley monte carlo method is that the error is directly proportional to 1 by square root of n so when n is very large the error is very small so we will see in the following examples so we will see the consequence of uh, this effect on when we do the integral so we will change the, this number and see how close we can get to the actual value of the integral so let's check the monte carlo method in two dimensions so suppose you have an integral uh, to x square plus y y square uh, dx dy suppose we have this integral so where the x limit is from 0 to 2 and the y limit is from 0 to 1 uh, here the analytical value of the integral can be easily computed so you can easily calculate the value of this integral so the analytical value of this integral is 6 so now let us do this integral in using the monte carlo method so for two dimensions the monte carlo integral formula is given by this quantity so where ax and bx is a lower and upper bound in x and ay and ay and by are the lower and upper bound in y and n is the total number of points so let's start so let's create a new script So now let's write the function. So the function is 2x square plus y square. So the limit of x is from 0 to 2. and the limit in y is from 0 to 1. So our first task is to prepare x and y components of random points so we'll be using matlab's inbuilt function called rand which provides uniformly distributed points in the interval 0 to 1 So now let's define the number of random points. So here I chose 1000. So let's evaluate our X and Y.
So now let's calculate the integral using this formula. So you can see the integral value is 6.2 which is higher than the analytical value of 6. So now if I change the a value of n to 10,000, you see the integral value is uh, close to 6. Now if I change the number of points to 100,000, so the integral value is precisely close to 6. So if your n is very large, then the integral value is very close to the analytical value. So you can use this technique to find the value of integral numerically. So we can also compute 2D and 3D integral using the MATLAB's inbuilt function. So we will be evaluating the value of the surface integral using the MATLAB uh, inbuilt function. So this is example of a volume integral y sin x plus z cos x. So x has a limit from 0 to pi, y has a limit from 0 to 1 and z has a limit from minus 1 to plus 1. So we will uh, find the value of this integral using the MATLAB's uh, default integral function for 3D. So the 2D integral can be uh, evaluated by the following function. So let's compute the integral. So our function is f, x min is 0, x max is 2, y min is 0, y max is 1. So you can see that the value of this integral is 6 which is precisely the analytical value. So similarly let's do a 3D integral. So we can see that the value of this integral is 2. So that's all for this uh, video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing the channel. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.